George Kirkpatrick, inspiration for the nation, celebrating people we feel good about. Vicki Brackens, of course, is the president of Brackens Financial Solutions Network, LLC, and the registered representative of LPL Financial Member, SIPC. Vicki, we got a special guest in the building. Yes, we do, and we've been anticipating this incredible event and, and having you here, Senate Majority Leader, and um, we want to make sure that you understand that here in Syracuse, we welcome you, and we are looking forward to you coming back many, many times in the future. Well, let's say her name. Oh, Senator <laughs> Majority Leader Andrea Stewart. He always tells me what to do. Andrea Stewart Cousins. Okay. Right. That's One why of it's a great partnership. That's exactly that is exactly correct. Anyway, um, I was listening to your uh, comments. Uh, as far as the legislative opening, okay, back in January, and you made mention of, a, of an issue that we have here, which is affordable housing, and the fact that we are having such a dearth okay, of affordable housing. Could you expound on that a little bit more, as far as what, what you see and what you anticipate for the future? Well, uh, frankly, uh, the affordable housing issue is a national issue, as well as one that is extremely prevalent in the state. And it's something that we are all focused on. I feel that the state could find something that is very similar to Mitchell Lama. Mitchell mm -hmm. Lama was uh, back in the 50s. Mm -hmm. And it was a plan mm -hmm. to build massive amounts of affordable housing throughout and, and make it affordable for, for generations. Right. So I think we're at that place where we should be able to figure out as a state how to create another plan like that as well as finding ways to keep people in their homes and give some tenant protection as well as maybe making it easier for people to to buy homes buy their co-op you know create create a variety of pathways right. for affordability because no matter what community you are living in, I think we're all having the same issue. Our seniors yes. want to have some place <laughs> to retire to. You know? yeah. uh, our kids want to be able to live in their communities. Yes. And right. I think the affordability is an issue all over. So uh, I know that we are all in our conference uh, um, focused on it. The governor's focused on it. Uh, you know, and we, we intend to get more things done because we know it's an issue that has to be resolved. But they, we need, and we need federal partners too. I want okay. to be able to say this. I mean, I grew up in public housing. Okay. And that public housing was, I guess, the federal government's initiative to be able to create affordable housing for the soldiers. Right. My dad was a World War II vet. And since we're talking about black history, when he came back from the war, he served in a segregated army. Yep. And when they started allowing for the suburbs to get built mm -hmm. and home ownership, black soldiers were not no. part of that. Nope. But the answer was public housing. So we live there. Mm. But the investment was very, very clear, mm -hmm. the federal investment. And you've seen less and less federal investment for housing stock and more and more the states and the local, you know, municipalities have to figure out a way. So I'm looking for more federal investment, frankly. Uh, and, I, and, and also, I think the state has to come up with a plan that will encourage housing, you know, again, all levels of housing because we all need affordable housing. Right. Well, with the cooperation that both the federal government and the state went through concerning the Green Chips Act. That's right. I would That's imagine exactly that right. you've already laid the foundation for cooperation throughout That's and right. hopefully we'll be able to pull some of that cooperation toward central New York and to the state of New York exactly to, right. to solve this problem. Yes, well I love Syracuse. Yay! I, Yay! You know, I do, I do. <laughs> Senator May, Senator Mannion have represented uh, Syracuse quite well in our conference and as soon as I had uh, members from Syracuse they brought me up. Uh, I came up first with, with Senator May and um, got an understanding mm -hmm. of, again, you know, the, the was it I-90? I-81. I-81. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I-81. Right. And, and, 
you know, just trying to create, again, a more a cohesive Syracuse and the school being built. So, I mean, we have been very, very supportive and I will continue to be supportive. We appreciate that. And before we get to why you're here, one more thing I wanted to ask you to speak to, the importance of this year's election cycle and the importance of getting out the vote. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that... Uh, we, this is really a question of whether or not we get to keep and grow our democracy. Okay. Uh, democracy is an experiment, and it is one that so far we've been able to keep, but uh, I think there's a lot of forces that have decided that the experiment should be over. Uh, we are already seeing an erosion of our rights. Yes. We're seeing voting rights being pulled back. We're seeing reproductive rights being pulled back. We are seeing now, again, this, when you saw what Alabama's done, mm. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're, we're in a place where we're seeing people banning books. And I, I just hope that people understand that it is beyond personality. Right, who you right. like, who you don't like. <laughs> yeah, it, it really does, you know, it's not right. like the that. The practicalities. It is about what we want for our future. Yeah. Whether we want to live in a society that we can disagree about things, but we can disagree in a, in, a, in a way that respects one another, but still maintain our ability to move forward as a community, as a society, giving people the rights to make their own decisions and choices as opposed to uh, the possibility of having uh, an autocrat, some one person who you give your power to and hope that they give power back to hmm. you. Right. So, and we've seen it when, well, we've seen the results so of that. We've, we've seen yeah. that movie we've, already. We've seen the movie and we've seen it in other countries. Yep. And people are envious. The reason why people are coming here is frankly because of the freedom that we have. So that is not something we want to trade away. Uh, we can certainly perfect it. And I think we're working every day to do that. But we certainly do not want to end democracy for autocracy or theocracy. Come on. Democracy huh. is really uh, the way that we move forward. Well, every experiment is an iterative process, and we have sometimes fits and starts, but we're not going to give up. And I know that no, you we can't. <laughs> okay, and the Senate okay, and everyone here in the state of New York and I is going to make sure that we get out the vote as much as we possibly can. You must vote. I mean, again, especially again here we are in Black History Month, right. and we know what uh, our our forefathers and mothers went through in order to allow for us to be here, for me to be the leader of the Senate. Uh, <laughs> for I mean, really, it's, it's, it's I mean, it, this, this is this is why, but. Again, Dr. King and, and so many will go through all the names, but they understood that if people had the power in their hands, they would vote for things that would better them, better, better them. the community, and give them, again, more options. And that's what we're experiencing now. So there are people who think that enough is enough. They don't want to mm. see right. this expansion of, of all these people doing all these things. But we understand that the table is mm -hmm. big enough for everybody and that we all have something to bring. So uh, please vote. Uh, don't, don't let our ancestors' sacrifice uh, go in vain. And again, democracy is at stake. All right, so speaking of your leadership, you are here in Syracuse because yes. you're receiving the Pioneer Public, Public Service Award as part of the uh, Central New York Jazz Cabaret and the Concerned Citizens uh, Action Program. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. I um, was here again because uh, Senator May had invited me to come a few months ago. Uh, we've made a tremendous amount of investments into the arts because we understand right. how mm -hmm. important it is, again, not only to... This to, event, right? You know, <laughs> this event, but, uh -huh. yeah, but, and how important it is for community, especially after COVID, yeah. people, we needed the reasons to come back together to learn from one another and arts has always been that so i got a chance to meet so many of your artists because again we've been able to direct you know a few million dollars to this mm -hmm. region and um to this organization actually i guess you know has been the recipient but um that's where i met so many of the artists right. including larry 
who then asked me what I consider uh, coming, and it's hard to say no because <laughs> I understand this is this is the place. This oh is yeah, the place. it's yes. an honor, you know, to be recognized outside of my own local community for um, leadership by people who are truly leaders right. in this great community. Right. Well, thank you again for for making the journey and for coming up to Syracuse, and we look forward to seeing you many times yes. in the future. Oh, well. And we're going to let you go ahead and enjoy the show. Thank you so All much right. for okay. both of you. Senate Majority both. Leader Andrea Stewart Cousins here on George Kilpatrick Inspiration for the Nation with Vicki Brackens, President of Brackens Financial Solutions Network, LLC, Registered Representative of LPL Financial, member SIPC, America's Money Maven, and our Concerned Citizen Action Program Citizen of the Year. Con congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Thank you. much.